Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On today's episode of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be looking at Hebrews chapter 5. Every high priest is chosen from among the people and appointed to serve God on their behalf. He offers gifts and sacrifices for sins. Since he himself is weak in many ways, he is able to be gentle with those who are ignorant and make mistakes. And because he is himself weak, he must offer sacrifices not only for the sins of the people, but also for his own sins. No one chooses for himself the honor of being a high priest. It is only by God's call that a man is made a high priest, just as Aaron was called. In the same way, Christ did not take upon himself the honor of being a high priest. Instead, God said to him, You are my son. Today, today I have become your father. He also said in another place, You will be a priest forever in the priestly order of Melchizedek. In the life of earth, Jesus made his prayers and requests with loud cries and tears to God. Who could save him from death? Because he was humbled and devoted, God heard him. But even though he was God's son, he learned to be obedient by means of suffering. When he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all people who obey him. And God declared him to be high priest in the priestly order of Melchizedek. So what that part of chapter 5 is saying is the original high priest, the people that were chosen for that role, were just like us, humans that made mistakes, but they were chosen by God. So they could relate to the people because they also made mistakes. But when Jesus was chosen as high priest, uh, like the verses that we read before, he was the final high priest and had a direct connection to God that no one ever had because Jesus is the son of God. And he's part of the Trinity. So God, they're all connected. So now we have a different dynamic in this situation. Warnings against falling away. Verse 11. There is much we have to say about this matter, but it is hard to explain to you because you are slow to understand. There have been enough times for you to be teachers, yet you still some, need someone to teach you the first lessons of God's message. Instead of eating solid food, you still have to drink milk. Anyone who has to drink milk is still a child, without any experience in the matter of right and wrong. Solid food, on the other hand, is for adults, who have trained and used their taste to know the difference between good and evil. So they're using milk and solid foods as an example, kind of a metaphor, per se. So children typically drink milk because that's all they can handle. Now it's using this as an example for people with Christianity. Some people can only handle the basics of Christianity and anything more than that they can't understand. But we need to be seeking solid food which means we need to dig deeper into the Bible to figure out exactly what these texts mean. So we should be seeking to learn and not just get away with the very basics of Christianity. So I encourage you, read your Bibles more. Find someone that has ex more experience than you and ask questions. Um, you can ask me. Uh, or your local pastor, uh, if you're curious about digging deeper into the Bible. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We are going to be starting on chapter 4 next.